In this episode, I'm going to review four of the major topics that were covered in the town hall today. The Soul Keep sale, the card burn event, the change in ranked battle system, and the rewards point shop. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, we had a, uh, a lot of topics covered in the town hall today. And spoiler alert, if you're tuning in to hear me complain about something, I don't have really any complaints. I do have some points on each of the items I'm going to cover. But largely, I think everything that they covered today is good. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the sale of the Soul Keep that they announced. Okay. okay, so earlier today they announced, the team announced that uh, they sold the Soul Keep game uh, back to Double, Double Coconut, who originally developed it. Um, I don't know exactly what happened in that time frame, but it seemed like Soul Keep was going to be developed and then brought, uh, brought live. But it, something happened at that point where the Splinterlands team asked, or something happened, and the game was passed off to the Splinterlands team and Soul Keep, uh, the uh, Double Coconut didn't follow through with bringing it live. I don't know exactly what happened at that standpoint at that point, but um, anyway, uh, it's sat in limbo for quite some time now. There's been a lot of people that have invested in a lot of packs and have not been happy uh, for quite some time because it's taken such a long time. Um, so anyway, I see this as a good thing. So they sold it back to Double Coconut. Double Coconut has uh, is going to work with the team to go ahead and not only bring it live but be able to upkeep it and as we know uh these uh, uh games uh, software as a service a SaaS model saas okay software as a service a lot of these games uh live uh live games um they don't just build them and then put them out and they're done with them like uh, the older waterfall development method okay this is this is a continuing thing where you see um the majority of software out there as far as online games is live and meaning that uh, it's they're gradually developing it and uh, w and making it better over time and what that takes is it takes manpower it takes a team to look specifically at that game and go ahead and upkeep it make it better over time etc um, it was clear that the Splinterlands team didn't have a big enough team to fraction off part of it and uh, let them go over and take care of the soul keep. So, uh, whatever happened behind the uh, behind the scenes, I see this as a, a net positive for those people interested in soul keep. So, I think that this was a good thing, and I'm looking for positive things. I'm uh, I wouldn't be surprised if soul keep packs went up from this. Okay, this announcement. So, that's one positive takeaway from the town hall today. Okay, so the second big topic is the card burn event. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, there's an SPS governance proposal um, pre-vote up uh, right now. It's been up for a day or two. Um, and it's all about uh, creating the card burn event, which we had talked about in the past. Um, but basically, they want funding for it from the DAO. Okay, and I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on this new method of doing business. In other words, requesting funds from the DAO to go ahead and do standard business, you know, that, that we vote on. Um, I do see it as a very different business model. That's why I said I'm not an expert on it. Um, Matt spoke very well to it. In, in, the, in other words, this proposal is asking for $100,000 when a lot of people don't think that it would take $100,000 just to burn some cards. But in, you know, in retrospect, when he starts talking about that, they're going to put almost up a they're going to put almost $100,000 up in prizes. But then there was this discussion about other types of prizes, like a special card drop or something like that. So it's not written in stone. And he his basic expression was, hey, um, there's nothing against if you feel if you if, if you're not for this, go ahead and vote. No, uh, there's nothing against it. Right. Um, they might go back to the drawing board and come up with something different. It's not necessarily that they're not going to do the card burn event. But I think they're still working the kinks out in this new method of doing business. In other words, in other words, the populace of Splinterlands that holds uh, SPS staked 
are asking for something and then the team is going to do that. However, they're, it's basically a charge back to the Dow, okay? Even though this was Matt's idea in the first place. I think overall net, it would be a good idea. I'm not going to burn any cards. I think largely it's going to be the larger whales that that burn the cards for uh, all the prizes. He had listed off uh, a, a laundry list of, of cool prizes available. Um, I don't know if they keep, yeah, here you go. 500 plot tokens, 100 alpha packs, 250 beta packs, 500 untamed packs, 50 essence orb packs, 100 Asmir Dice Packs, 500 Nightmare Packs, 10,000 Chaos Legion Packs, 20 Runies, plus some titles. That's a lot of, of cards. And then, uh, you know, the side point to that would be like, uh, well, we're burning all these cards, and then you're putting another bunch of cards back into the ecosystem. I don't know. Um, either way, he spoke very well to it, uh, so I went ahead and I voted for it. At very um, least, go ahead and have a read through the details and vote your mind on it. I mean, if, if enough people vote for it, it'll go through. If not, you know, they'll they'll take it back to the table and figure out something different. Uh, it is, and he had another good point on this. You know, he his other uh, conflicting point to that is, um, you know, the reason why people want to burn event is is people think that there's a huge amount of cards in the ecosystem and primarily there is of chaos legion but if there were a lot of people to join uh because of the new player experience or sorry player experience and them working on that side of the game if we if we had a steady influx of people the more people you have in the game the amount of cards quickly dwindles okay so that amount of cards may not be a large amount of cards if you've got several thousand more people join the game OK, so all good, valid points. Either way, go ahead and have a read through this and vote your mind. Now, the last two, uh, I, the last two uh, items I want to cover, I don't necessarily have a screen to put up for them, but um, uh, the change in the ranked battle system. Uh, we've been talking about it for quite a while, and they announced today that it's going live at the end of the month, uh, the very last day of the month, which is I'm checking my calendar, the 29th. That's going to go live. Okay, so we've been talking about it, all the ins and outs, and I'm sure there's a lot of things we haven't even thought about. But the whole the whole basis is, uh, and they discussed, uh, they put a few more tidbits out there for us today. Um, the whole basis is uh, from Matt. There should be no reason why you want to stay down in the level plus, or stay down in a, a lower league than what you should be playing in. Um, from a uh, game creator standpoint, you want all your uh, people to want to rise up as far up in the play leagues as they possibly can. Okay, And th this covers a variety of reasons. Mostly, uh, I think it came down to a lot of people stay down a little bit before below what they could play um, because it meant more chests and such. Okay. So there still will he re, they release there still will be leagues, but there will be no way to artificially stay down a league. Okay, so especially like I play the Archmage bot, I have it set to keep myself inside gold and not go up into diamond. That'll be gone. That option will be gone. Okay, so and uh, the card levels are unlimited. You can and obviously that's. Uh, pro, uh, a pro buying more cards uh, kind of thing. Obviously, um, the more cards, the higher level cards you buy and play, the higher level you can rise up. But um, I'm here to say that like uh, my approach is going to be, I'm fine where I'm at. You know, everybody is going to be able to hit a certain level, like he said, like Matt said, and I've said in the past, your deck is going to hit a certain level and it's going to be playing with pretty much like decks, you know, uh, as far as strength goes. Now, there is a small margin above and below, depending upon if uh, you're using a bot or if you're a really good player or if you're a poor player, you know, you might play below that. OK, so uh, I'm, I'm not extremely worried about it. Overall, I like the idea. Uh, I, I've played games before in the past where it wasn't artificial. They weren't artificially um, um, sealed by, uh, you know, uh, you know, bronze, silver, gold, uh, diamond, so forth. OK, so it's just basically by your points and how many points you earn. Um, and uh, no, everybody's going to have a certain deck strength and it's going to get at a certain point and you're just not going to be able to rise above that until you guess what put more money into cards or get better at playing you know um, 
So, uh, yeah, I completely agree with that. Uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. Um, there's several points around this that this kind of leads into my last point, which is the rewards point shop, uh, which he said will not go live on the 29th. Okay. So the changes in the ranked battle system will go live, but the rewards point shop will not go live. One other point I want to mention back on the ranked battle system changes is the fact that um, while in regular play, in regular ranked play, there will not be a limit on level of cards due to league, in tournaments there still will be a summoner level. So that's one note I got out of that. Okay. Now, on the rewards point shop, I have a few other, uh, you know, points on this. Okay. So um, that is going to be the next thing they work on. So it's not live on the 29th, but it's going to be a whole change in how we get um, prizes, right? So today we get daily chests and we get season in chests. Okay. And they're, they go through a random number generator and you have a number of different things that we're all familiar with getting. Okay. Now, after the changeover, we're going to earn points for each win. And the higher level you, uh, you uh, rise up, the more points you're going to get per win. So that's going to uh, make you want to rise up higher, right? So, um, But then there's going to be a rewards point shop where you can go in and you can buy various things. You can save up your rewards points, uh, which I completely love the idea of, okay? And he specifically called out um, the idea of having chests with um, cards, with soulbound cards in them. And you say, well, we have chests now with cards in them. Well, these are going to be specifically sectioned off and you can buy multiple rarities. And obviously the higher rarity of the chest will have better cards in it higher potential to have legendaries and gold foils, but it's going to cost more points. Okay. And there will be other things you could purchase with those points. But the one takeaway I got from this conversation is that SPS might be going away from chess. Okay. I think I heard a few people talk about this. Um, I heard all through this discussion. I didn't hear. I don't know how you can set out a chest of SPS for sale with the points you can't because one of the key takeaways from the meeting was and matt said this you know obviously they're trying to make this new system so it cannot be um it cannot be bled dry by botters okay and uh one of the things you could do as a botter is set up multiple bots um pull in all these reward points and then spend them all on sps chests if they were available so I'm interested to see how that, um, you know, turns out because to me, that tells me that we are probably going to be losing SPS out of our SPS uh, daily. Uh, the only SPS that you would be bringing in is through your just playing on a daily basis per match, right? Because your daily chess would be gone. You would have no, no chance of getting SPS in chess for daily, or you would not get a uh, season in chess with SPS. So... While I like the idea of the rewards points shop, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say I'm, uh, I don't like the fact I'm losing SBS, right? Um, but it seems like every, and I don't get me wrong. I, I like all these changes and I like the sound of them. But every time major changes happen, what I make out of the game just keeps going down. Okay, so that, I guess that's my one downer complaint. I lied at the beginning saying I didn't have a complaint. Either way, that's been uh, my four things I wanted to talk about uh, from the town hall. So I'll leave it at that. Um, if you think I'm right on something or if you think I'm wrong on something, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And if you think I'm wrong, uh, leave a reasoning. You know, don't, don't just say, hey, you're wrong. You know, tell me what your thoughts are and we'll consider it. And uh, maybe I'll put it in the next video. Either way, I hope everyone on your side is doing happy and healthy. And I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.